All right. We got some work to do tonight. So let's call us to order at 633. Um, our uh, annual meeting, of course, like everything else, has been upset by COVID. And um, I do believe our bylaws say we got to have it prior to our, what's the verbiage there? Prior to our showcase open house? Nope. No? We just have to have it yearly, I think is what the bylaws say. Okay. And we've talked a lot about, um, we'll see how open this open house can be, but showcasing some of the summer documentary work. Yeah, we've been, um, we'll talk about what COVID surge means for us. So, so really a pared down annual meeting. Really not a meet and greet with the public. It is the bare bones of what's in the bylaws, and that's really electing the officers. Correct. So um, let's let's count the rolls here. Um, chair, treasurer, secretary. Am I still going? Is it four? Vice chair. I thought the sec when I was secretary, I was I default to being the chair if the chair was out. So I thought sec yeah, yeah. secretary and vice chair are the one in the same. Be the same, yes. I think typically you haven't had a vice chair, so yeah, I guess it's chair and then whoever the officer is that wants to preside if the chair can't do it. I think there was a time we used the language of vice chair to really refer to the secretary, but okay. purely verbiage. Um, so in terms of those three positions, presently I am chair and be happy to serve again. I, um, Mike presently treasurer, I won't say the words for you, but um, I am thinking about phasing out. And I plan to do that slowly, but I do plan to. Is, uh, you do not see this particular election as your yeah. ideal phase out point, or do you? I I would be willing to pass treasurer on to someone that would be willing to take it. Okay. All right. Um, and in terms of secretary, presently Carlos. Carlos, interest, willingness. To continue and or throw it into the uh, ring. Uh, you know, absolutely, unless somebody else is willing to pick it up, I'm willing to continue. Great. Good idea. All right. Um, I guess we ought to do the easy ones first. Um, the I'm I'm. I'm willing to continue a chairmanship, chairpersonship. Um, I'm going to throw my hat into the ring. Is anyone else interested? Willing? I'll be also. I, I, I nominate you uh, to be president for the next year. All right. Um, we can look for a second on the nomination. I I second. I, I, I second. Okay. Um, Maintain first. Any any other nominations on that position? self nominating is fine. I'm not, I'm happy to keep going, but um, if someone's chomping at the bit, I'm I don't need to pass on that one and then work on the others. Okay, I just got to do the hold on. Uh, Mike D moves and Dave seconds. <clears throat> um, CJ's call, calling in. Is that the little thing I heard? Yes, yes, she's Yeah. CJ, um, CJ is trying to get in. Yeah, she's yeah. calling in. Okay. I'll press pause it unless this goes along. Let's see how. Um, no other, any other nominees for, for chair? 
I think you know, Mike, Mike, Michael, Bobby. I think you, you've done such a great job. I, you know, I, know I, I think you should continue. That's that's where I stand. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll call the question then. All those in favor of myself, odd to say, continuing as chair, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Hey, and, and Rachel. And opposed. Okay. Uh, thank you for your vote of confidence. I. Uh, it's motive. Thank you. It's motivating. Thanks. Um, uh, let's just move to secretary. That's another um, one where the uh, present secretary is willing to continue. Any other nominees, self or otherwise? Stop quiet around here. I don't want to. I don't want to rush democracy, but. Um, any anyone uh, like to move to formally nominate uh, Carlos to continue in the possession position? I'd like to nominate Carlos. All right, Sue so moves. I'll second. And Mike D. Coming out with the I second. Gladly, I, I gladly accept my position. We haven't been elected yet. All right, this is this is the moment of truth. Yep. Um, hearing no other nominees, I I will call the question. All those in favor of, of Carlos continuing as secretary here at Onion River Community Access Media, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And opposed. And it's awfully quiet. Uh, the vote of confidence is strong. Thank you, Carlos, for uh, continuing to serve for a great year of service. All right. <clears throat> now, things got a little more interesting with treasure. Um, Mike Doyle has served us well for, Jesus, we got to say decades. I'm, I am the, uh, what are the I, I'm, I am the dean. <clears throat> and well is too weak a word. In an exemplary fashion, putting us in a very healthy financial uh, situation. But uh, on the horizon, Mike's, Mike sees a, a, a disengagement from that process. And this may be that pivot point. Maybe. Or is it? So this is actually exciting. Um, is anybody entertained? And I don't know if you've been grooming someone to be your successor. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Rachel has probably had more grooming than anybody else that I can think of. If she would like to do it, this might be a good time to say you would like to do it. It was nice to have a glimpse of her for a few seconds. Now she's really back again. I will keep the camera on. Um, so here's the thing. I was honored to be, sec or to be treasurer at some point, but right now I simply cannot commit to the time that it would take to do the job justice as Mike has been doing it. Um, this is something that I'm happy to discuss, but I've accepted an adjunct professorship at Champlain College and the class meets on Tuesday nights. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Wow. Lucky Champlain. Hmm? Lucky Champlain. Thank you, but found out they were holding the class. So I do need to work out the logistics of that, but I don't intend to leave the board if that's possible, but I, I can't commit. If I'm not able to be at board meetings live, mm -hmm. I think it's responsible of me to take treasure at this point. The class does end in December. Got it. Mm -hmm. okay, thanks for good, clear, complete answer. Okay, I, I am willing to stick it out if you all understand that uh, well, it, we're going to need the treasury. It, 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 well, it yeah, like, yes, and so, you, you telegraphed your move, you know, not just tonight, yes, so appreciate so, so, it on this long ramp. Yep. So, Mike, body, is there is there a way that it, it, it can make it tonight into, um, into our minutes where we devise a plan moving forward for the future so we could groom somebody to take that position? I think it's something we need to do. We should start now. Yeah, I mean, I think um, 
I think that process has begun. It, it's, it's underway. The tapping on the shoulder, it's just the timing uh, on this particular meeting may not fit. Um, and I don't know if we, well, it wouldn't make any sense to entertain a January revisiting of this or, it, it, or just it right probably, out of the year. It, it probably would be best to just, everybody knows what's happening. Let's see what happens next. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think this, I mean, I, I know Mike, Mike has um, expressed this, this interest in, in the handoff and actually done some work to make it happen. So mm -hmm. um, Rachel's uh, up to speed to a degree, yeah? Um, so there's a successor in waiting. It's just um, timing now, this is now, what I'm hearing. Now, right now, Rob has signature authority on that money. That is not, I'm just nothing against Rob, but that is not an ideal situation theoretically. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, what you need for a treasurer is a board member, not an executive director. But uh, Rob, because of his competence, uh, if something happened to me and and you were busy doing something at Champlain College. I, my fraternity used to be right next door to the girls' dorm at Champlain College. A lot of memories there. Um, anyway, which probably could get me sued today. Uh, anyway, uh, where was I going with that? Um, at, at any rate, yeah, Rob, is, yeah. Rob can handle yeah. the, the legal stuff. If, if somebody needs to transfer the money. In fact, he's already made a decision to stay with Edward Jones. We did have an option to go with Wells Fargo. And I'll let Rob make that decision. I will say it was a consultation with Michael. And I think that, uh, you know, when you are ready, Rachel, you know, I, it's, there is a, a heavy amount of lifting, it's day to day, and then just what an oversight of my work with, with the, the funds. And that's, you know, a periodic meeting, you know, like that. And I will also add while I have the floor that it, it well, actually, if, she, if she's done in December, we only have one meeting that she would miss by this class. So, but we could consider it tonight to meet. Well, can we move that we go ahead with that phase out plan? Um, well, I think we have to have a clean nomination and yeah, then discussion. Discussion of the um, phase out is I'll, is I'll, happening. I'll, I'll feel I can it. memorialize in the minutes, but. So I think with the chair nice. board nomination for treasurer. The, the yeah the by I mean the bylaws got to dictate a pretty clean let's. He's saying he will continue. Mm -hmm. He said he'll continue. Yes. So we need I think we need a motion by someone other than Mike D. I move that Mike continue. Thank you, Dave. Dave so moves. And then we wait to see what happens in terms of a gradual phase out. Um, is there that a have to be in the minutes? Is there a second? I think Rachel seconded, or she didn't put a prayer up. I did see a thank oh, you. Was... Thank you. <laughs> that was the thank you emoji. Um, I don't know if the council is second. Anyone seconding uh, Mike Doyle's continuation as treasurer? Yes, I'll second. I Thanks, heard. And uh, any other nominees? I think we've had that conversation. Um, I will call the question then. All those in favor of Mike Doyle continuing his exemplary record as uh, treasurer <clears throat> in service to Orca Media, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed would be a nay. And that is silence. Um, so we have unanimous consent on Mike D's. Uh, treasurying further. Um, and I will put um, plans been afoot to ready a successor. Good. No more specific than that. Wait, you use the word afoot? I, I said afoot. plans been afoot. <laughs> plans been afoot. English spoken here. <laughs>
Um, That's nice, man. <laughs> we have done the hard work of freedom, Bob's. Uh, we are all uh, newly minted by consent unanimously. Um, and that would put the annual meeting to bed, and we can move right into the regular meeting, which I guess I do have to call to order at 649. And uh, awaiting public. Say? I'm just going to ask if CJ can hear us and if she's in. Oh, gotcha. She on the phone? That's what I'm hoping that CJ. <clears throat> she's muted. She may hear us. Okay. Does that sound like her? It was. It was noise. It was but CJ. It oh. was CJ. I I could hear her. Sound yeah. Like sorry about the background noise. Okay. Thank you. CJ, are you hearing us? Okay. You guys are five by five. Okay. Great. Um, you're choppy, but there. Um, I I do not see any members of the public for public comment. So I'm gonna move us along to approval of the minutes. Uh, do we have hard copies? We do not, because I couldn't find them. And I'm hoping somebody will remind me what happened at the last meeting. And I don't know if Carlos have, uh, was there or was able to take minutes, or we had a recording that we were gonna submit to somebody to take minutes from. Oh, interesting. Well, step one for this agenda, the date? Of the meeting? Yeah, last meeting. At the very uh, least. Uh, so, um, Rob, I'm I'm not sure if I was there. The thing is that I don't have my computer with me. I'm getting my computer <clears throat> Monday. So um, no. if I didn't send it out, um, I could do that as soon as I get my computer. But let me check on my phone. I think Carlos left for you right after the meeting. It was June 22nd. Yeah. I know I have done the meeting, the minutes one time this year. I just don't know if it was the last meeting. Right. And I do have a recording of it, so we can always we have a record of it. If if I did the minutes, I would have sent from my work email, which I no longer have, and shared it with you. So yeah, I don't know. Again, that's why the first place I look is back to my emails to see. Okay. I did not find anything. That's why I got suspicious that we may have had a thing where Carlos was unable to do it. We would just want to report it. And then somebody was gonna take some other recording later and that didn't happen. Huh. Um just be stable it so much in terms of did we get the date on it? The 22nd of June. Thank you. Um okay, we know was audio or was it actually video recorded there was an executive session piece where you yeah. press pause or had to edit out later yeah. that's right um video recorded um and that video will need so, so go ahead mike um is it possible to table this if if i was there i mean I had the minutes. I probably it, there was a misstep, and maybe it didn't send it. I'm not sure about that. And I yeah, could have I, that again as soon as Monday. Um, I'm typing. We know it was video recorded, and we will table approval um, until we can and find uh, typed minutes. If not found, we'll have to return to the video to <clears throat> extract decisions that were made. We can do a pretty quick, quick and clean. Yeah, I'm pretty report. sure. I'm pretty sure I was at the last meeting. I thought I saw you there too in the reporting, Carlos. Although it was no, I was in the last meeting. Yes, I, absolutely. Right before you left. Yep. Um, so if you okay, okay, yeah, you'll you'll look and see if you can just give me till Mondays, and when I get my new computer, I'll just check on my, you know, just 
Oh, check. Yeah, I do have my hard drives with me, so. You have until next Friday. No rush. It sounds good. Thank you. All right. Um, I've got the tabling and the explanation. It's, it's all been recorded. We are moving on. Item four. All right, Mr. Chair. Yeah. I wanted to one pose a question as to whether or not, since we know Rachel will have to leave here soon, is it might be worthwhile moving. I think it may be the bulk of the discussion or the meat of the meeting. Item six to now. Executive Possession Personnel Committee. Yeah. Um, there's no reason to keep it towards the end. So that's a, I just got to cut and paste and move it prior to the financial reports and it's done. Um, we did run through first evaluations and uh, had some discussion on them last board meeting. There's some loose ends from that discussion. No, this is the idea of like, could we consider a full time position? Where we already have? Okay. As well as maybe the content of the form and some, uh, and that may be a personnel committee actual discussion, not the full board. But I did want to approach the subject of the idea of, uh, as, you know, we, we're looking and contemplating this idea of adding a full time staff person to Orca and wanted to bring it up to the board for the, what their thoughts were on it. <clears throat> okay. So completely divorced from the last time we went into executive session for personnel reasons. I call us into executive session. Financial reports will bring us to Mike Doyle, our treasurer, and we will roll. We have to let Rachel go. Is this official? Bye. Thanks for running over. Yep. Yeah. Bye bye. Um, Mike D on the microphone. Well, I can handle Mike's. Why don't you? Why don't you handle it? What Michael does is let you know what how much money we have in the uh, account right now, which is basically uh, what would be our. The only comment that I'm going to make is that we are reaching a point where it's now time that we actually do start using some of that. Yeah, and that rolls right into the previous conversation. Because uh, the state has an idea of what a reserve yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, we can we can let this. Go on to that play the market, but, yeah, but we don't want to look like we're have a couple million dollars going right. on at a certain point in time. There comes a motive for to become motive for something criminal. Uh, so it's a good idea that we start, yeah, the, start flexing. Yeah, right. Every dollar in our reserve is a dollar not spent fulfilling the mission. You can look at it that way, right? Um, so the hard numbers, so the hard numbers as of today, when I checked. Savings account, two hundred and thirty-two thousand four hundred and forty-seven and seventeen cents. In the checking account, four thousand six hundred seventy-two and twenty-nine and twenty-nine cents. Okay. And I have the PayPal account which typically had that $40 sitting there because the campers have been going through PayPal. We now have $3,048. And that represents tuition. That represents uh, tuition as well as uh, other forms of fundraising. I, I believe one of them. Yes. The $1,000 okay, so from some comment. I'll just put camp. So I, you know, it is not differentiated out into but it all, it all so you're talking about income not expenses right yes so the paypal fees yeah so that's a, a so part of this is like me getting the accounting right with this project and so things will show up on here okay and i'm like all right so the paypal field the 
think I mentioned in my executive director report. Yeah. Pell money income for the course is not technically uncategorized income. But it's not in that box. No. And uncategorized income is the COVID uh, one we got. And work. All right. Moving on to the budget versus actuals. Uh, as I had said, you know, this report is done in 2021. So uh, if you see the far right, you should be seeing 100% because you're looking at much of our half a year's budget that we spent in those six months. So obviously for the, the income, we're seeing a little bit of an increase. So uh, we had expected uh, 172,500 for the first half, but we got 182. So we're seeing $10,000 more dollars in income. So we see 105% uh, compensation. We're uh, lower. As a, a reminder, 7,000 C capital, no, not 7,000 C, ask my cap, 99. We will go up into compensation. So that's just a, a, an accounting thing when he does it like every other month. He takes compensation and moves it into the appropriate thing. So when he does payroll, he does lump sum. And then at some point I ask him, can you please move those into the appropriate accounts, which be those top sort of three, 510, 550, 15, and 5016 out of the payroll. Which is one of the things I think explains the pension expense a little bit high. See 5030, uh, we're at 100%. Like I said, Thing. When I pay the, the retirement account. DJ, could you mute? I am so sorry. No problem. Thanks. Um, so there's a different sets of accounting that are going on there that don't line up yet. So uh, the account has to go in and take my transaction, which I allocate entirely to the pension expense, even though part of that is coming out of the employee's pay check. That makes sense. So are we showing it differently on this particular budget sheet than we've done it before? Um, no, I, I, no, I don't think so. I think it's just an accounting. Something we've seen before, but yeah. may not have fully explained before. OK. So net operating income is strikingly incredible. Yes. We budgeted for to come out ahead by 6,000 and we're presently ahead by 62,000. Yes. And that's for the half year. So we budgeted to come out ahead 13,000 for the year. And I do expect that some of these will come up. So, you know, I don't think it will come up $120,000 up on income, but we're sitting pretty good, is what I'm saying. Uh, is any of that explained by all the uh, changes in the world uh, for the pandemic? Yes. Okay. So, certainly, the first half of this year, the first few months, we were at Skeleton Crew. Because we weren't sending camera operators out. So we were still in the middle of the pandemic. The camera operators were not going out. Every time we send a camera operator out, that's one person going out getting mileage. Whereas in the pandemic, we could have one staff person here running five computers capturing five meetings. So it costs us a lot less to run our regular operation during the pandemic. Year. And we got compensation from the federal government to For cover that. our COVID expenses. Okay. So we got additional money and we're saving them which is a weird position to be in. No, it's, but it's, and we were able to just be able to get that without hiring a headhunter to get money for it. So. I think the term you're looking for is fiduciary bliss. <laughs> is that it? That's still <laughs> interesting. Oh my okay, God, we, we, we reduce our expenses and the government's not giving us money to cover it's the fiduciary bliss. Because <laughs> of COVID? <laughs> yeah. It's not something we want to get used to, though. It's an odd, yeah. odd yeah, occurrence exactly. of events. <laughs> and, you know, we did, you know, most of those expenses did come through. I mean, obviously, we back up our, our, our expenses, which were COVID related during that time, which included sending a camera operator. The one place we were sending a camera operator was to the government's 
at the time, tri-weekly press conference. So um, most all of that expense related to COVID. Uh, my staff's time in trying to develop protocols around it, and then maintaining that. You know, we came up with a percentage and it's, used that. So it's been about five years. We're going to start paying for this. Like this. So this is this this is what was the total at the end of June. Yes. Meanwhile, July has come and gone. Yes. And August has come and halfway or more gone. Yep. And so how is this going to look different than the first six months? It's going to be I would say that you're, you know, you're not thing. going to see that $64,000 net income. Okay, but it's going to be other than that pretty similar. We're it's going to be, you know, still going to be positive. We haven't lost any staff. Uh, we haven't stopped having 1095, 1085, and 1075. And uh, okay, I just wondered. Yeah. Because it would seem to me the final budget will be covering the time from July 1 until January 1 or no? When, when will the year, the, the calendar year, have a final budget? The January meeting? I'm, I'm just thinking of this year. Right. Is the weirdest year that there's been. Well, 2020 and it's was pretty weird. Called a pandemic year, and I thought it might be interesting to have the final budget for the whole year be called Orca Media during pandemic. Yeah. Because I think that helps the layperson say, holy shit. And, uh, they <laughs> they learned, they and did, and were able to produce all of this during the time that the pandemic was holding people in hostage homes yeah. for a whole year. And so, I think that you know, that story is being told on the fan level, the statewide advocacy level. Yeah. They're developing that story. They're talking to legislators okay, about good. it. I just want to get us a little bit of And I think it's pandemic actually, as well as a, a physical bliss, was a, 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 a savior for people. Pandemic story. But yeah. I think it, it, it increased our, our um, um, not our awareness, but our, our, our importance. Our importance, our, our relevancy. Yes. Uh, you know, we, even just as you get down to the numbers of just how many people we now have as YouTube subscribers because of our our weekly right. press conferences. And, and gratitude that we're there. Michael even talked about, you know, he heard on DPR today an acknowledgement that the stream coming from the press conference was from Orca Media. Yeah, so, that's, they tweeted every every week. So, um, thanks know, to Orca Media. Uh, we have, and we've gotten figures on CNN that people use our Orca Media. So, that's what it means. Well, it may be time to hire one of the they, state muralists. Yeah. Just do an amazing orca design. Well, and that's part of the notion of a whale of a TV set. Or somebody who engages the community by telling the story of what media without doing it in an effective way, which I think yeah. is where and I have often felt we lack. That and that's a form of engagement. The, 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 the whale and, yeah. and the camera. Rob, uh, how's uh, the Comcast checks the old the old way of staying afloat? How, how are they maintaining dropping, rising? Last one looked like what? Under my report, second section of finances. So, is that a new high, 108? I don't or know. Did we do 111 one time? I'd have to go back a few years. I'd look at, you know, before 218, where we were at, I don't know where we were at or what our heart was. 108 sounds like what we were headed for. That's so we've got a um, a new peak, perhaps. Perhaps I, you know, I wouldn't want to go see what we were at before the, the five percent drop in, in 2018 that we got when they did their change. But it, it's you know it certainly has maintained a flat line. It's, you know it may not be increasing, but it's not going down. There are certainly other places in the country where they are talking about it going down significantly. Some of my associates in Massachusetts are talking about you know a, a 20 percent loss. But we, and even in Burlington, I think it's, they're seeing some significant losses. As people maybe are more tech savvy, they go to streaming services. But here in Central Vermont, we seem to be, at least I would characterize flatline with fluctuation of maybe 2% performance either way. Got it. And I think that's all I have for finances. And as I said, I, we do, I do want to uh, emphasize that we'll have a very Robust report on the Youth Documentary Lab and their finances. At, once we get out of the actual session, um, we have gotten reimbursed from the government with the, the June expenditures, and he had submitted his July expenditures. Uh, so 
we do know that the money does flow from that grant. Uh, a lot of it is upfront. It's a reimburse, reimbursing grant. So uh, basically we, we bring out, the, we pay the expenses, submit the, the, the reports and then get reimbursed for them. Uh, any other questions on financials? So we can move to executive directors. I'll move to accept the financial report. All right, Mike D moves to accept. Is there a second? I'll second it. Dave C. Seconds. Uh, to accept the financial. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 And opposed? Okay, unanimous. Rob, you're still up, but your hat's changed slightly to executive director's report. Some of the stuff we've already talked about, Mike just brought up the uh, checks from Comcast. Um, I've talked about the, the report we want to do on the lab and how it's been going. As I did a, just a quick, a quick update on what I'm repairing from Christopher. Um, the only other section I think I really have in here, uh, although I'll add in Christopher, it has done some reach out to the Ch Chandler Art Center and gotten a very positive response from them with some suggestions that they could even pony up some money for a uh, program. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I warmed up that trail for him, but I was really impressed with how he followed up and got very specific. Like I can see, okay, this guy makes things happen. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then the first part of staff, we have added to our part-time staff uh, camera operators as we get more and more busy with staffing. Uh, it got really kind of uh, cut and dry there. Uh, you know, we were short staffed when we, they all started up again in July. So, so we've been looking to fill and we now have added uh, Ben Brown and Gilberto Diaz Santos uh, to our pool. Uh, and I know they even spent some hours in this last payroll that I did this morning. So they're, they're in the pool and they're working and I have experience. I know that uh, Ben's experience comes from filming the uh, many high school sports as well as the Mountaineers and that Gilberto does some school stuff with CCB uh, and did some educational uh, video production. Uh, he's an immigrant from uh, Cuba. Uh, it's been in Burlington or in Montpelier now for five years with his family. What's that? Do you have another one? Yeah. So Rob, uh, you know, if I were a superintendent of schools in Orleans County, um, and I was interested in what my uh, regular school board was going to be doing. Would that school board um, be able to be uh, put on ORCA or recorded by ORCA? A school board meeting? I'm, I'm trying to figure out are people going to be in the room with each other without masks and have regular school board meetings and wonder whether somebody like us could come in? Whether that's political meetings or whether that's with our, our standard now is if they are doing it in person, whereas that the board is in person, then we will be there with the camera operator to capture. Whether they're wearing masks or not. Well, well, yeah, it's up to them. We we haven't implemented anything yet. We go by their rules now. Okay. So if it's, uh, but, and so, if they aren't meeting in person, but then we can still by capture Zoom, by Zoom. Can we carry the Zoom meeting? Too? Absolutely, we've been doing that for the whole pandemic. Okay, I just yeah. wasn't sure what we were doing. Yep. So we use a computer to sign into the Zoom meeting uh -huh. and record it so that we can then turn it around. And so get our it. regular community work is still you know, happening. Steve was interested. Just the point of information. You said Orleans County. Yeah. It, My so only other point was, I don't know how many towns we have in our service area that are in Orleans County. But did we acquire Orleans County? Or Orleans School District. Isn't there, isn't there an Orleans School District someplace? Yeah, anyway, probably. Northeast Kingdom someplace. We don't have anything in the Northeast any Kingdom, KTV. but if they were in our service area, then yes. Any KTV would catch them. Catch yeah. them right? okay. So like any school, and we have some school districts do not necessarily line up with our service area. Yeah. So for instance, we may have the town of uh, Rochester may be a part of some school system that goes all the way down to Bennington or something like that. Yeah. So we could, we will do that because one of our towns is a part of that school system. But we all, all of us that do this are part of a general overview network. Is that banned? Yes. And as far as you know, we're not only doing the bliss that he was talking about on our budget, but the other ones are doing well too. And we haven't, none of the community 
programs have dropped out. No, or nobody's being lost their staff or no. had a COVID crisis run through the entire building. Okay, just was curious to know how it was relatively to yeah. other people. Thank you. Uh, and I'd also mention we, the full time staff, has been right, meeting regularly to work on the job descriptions. We're also working on updated policies and procedures. And of course, doing the regular op regular operational questions we do, uh, particularly around creating my offices open during the day. For the offices are, are open. Okay, so I can come up here on a Monday or a Wednesday. Yep. In the morning. We have uh, reduced our hours. We're now not opening until 11 a.m. and shifted staff to, to both Jen and Zach coming in at 11. You know, there is some with the idea to be temporary until so we get back up until nine. Although most of our traffic does seem to be in the, the later afternoon or evening, so there hasn't been a lot of people coming in at 9 a.m. Um, and I'm also contemplating whether it's time to also get some hours back on the weekend. So uh, when we were down at, uh, on Main Street, we used to have Saturday hours. And I like to think that the, you know these are hours that people are not at their jobs, they would want to come in and doing it. So finding some staff, to back open it back up for weekends, weekend hours are also would be on the things to do. I haven't implemented it yet. Do you know when and if MFA people are going to start having workshops on the site? We know that they just this past month went through the, with the musical one, and uh, so uh, so they had a workshop. Yeah, music and yep. some performances. Yep, and all that. So that's a good that bodes well for that school continuing to be what it does. it's been. Um, some of them, I think, the word on the street, or word around. The, campus is that some of them may never come back full time. You know, some of them are that can be done virtually may yeah. do that. So they're they're working on it themselves. But okay. obviously musical performances is probably not the area that we but it hasn't affected us or our rent. On that note too, um Vermont College of Fine Arts had its first live um, residency was music. The hope was that Orca could assist in them catching some of the musical performances. And they were reluctant. They, they were hesitant. 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 Not reluctant. They were hesitant. They, because they, of COVID? Because of uh, uh, shortness in time. And, and they're, they're starting back up again. So they had okay. a lot of logistics themselves to work out. So adding in an additional uh, aspect to that is not something they were ready to do. Some of them were ready to do. Some of them were Was not. it chamber music? What would the music have been? Composition, I think. That's all I remember. Solo performances. Okay. okay. I, think right. so I think they're actually on, online because Chris Green. Uh -huh. Who is running that did do it uh, as she was and stream them? Uh -huh. So, uh, we were uh, talking to him about augmenting mm -hmm. and maybe doing multi camera shoots. Yeah, really. what can we do? Uh, and he was the one who approached the director. The director was the one who was hesitant. You know, there's too many things for the justice to work around now. Let's just deal with what we have to deal with. Increasing our presence in the college community is a good thing. Yeah, that's something we need to keep hammering. Go ahead, Sue. Um, I just need to say that I need to get off the the call um so i wanted to let you know okay well, i could just say that that's my report and we can be done uh yeah, i could i could uh, entertain them do you want to make that your last act sue is to move to accept the executive director's report okay. second okay okay and all, right. all those in favor thank you sue have a good night you too bye, -bye. bye. Thank you. Seconds and all those in favor of accepting executive director. Aye. 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 Hearing no nays, that's a unanimous. Moving us to old business. Uh, so I've got one thing for old business. Um, this is CJ. Uh, yeah. I was waiting for a call from Zach to talk about moving the avionics content on. And uh, so that's one thing. I, is there any, what, what do I need to do on my end? I can nudge Zach on that. So uh, I, I, you know, I think, you know, the onus is on me to make sure that Zach gets back to you. Okay. Um, got Except it. In the at this point. Any other old business? Yep. Uh, uh, next piece of old business is um, the Astronomy for Everyone has been supplying content to Orca. And uh, they have a new one coming out documenting, I think it's a French telescope. Uh, they just wanted to reconfirm uh, that we still remain interested in putting that content on our channel. 
your decision, CJ. If you if you remain interested in having that content on the channel, then then you do. Okay, well, they're, they'll just keep sending it over, but uh, if we continue to have space for it, I'll tell them to just keep sending it. Uh, and then the third question is um, the other area where I think we could get funding and that I think is really a, a national as well as a Vermont issue is broadband. And I have not, I asked in the last DC Fiber meeting as a board member, I asked uh, what the story was about why would they reject coverage of their meetings. And I got some line of malarkey from Irv Tomei about, yes, I did reject coverage. I don't think we need to have uh, anybody looking at our meetings. So um, they are public meetings. And I think what I wanted to suggest is that we have a, um, you know, there's an enormous amount of national interest in the Vermont model. There's a lot of funding going around. And I think it's important to make, you know, make the process of making the pudding available. So what, and I had said I would bring a camera into the meetings with me. I think we had agreed that that wasn't a problem. What do I need to do to make sure that happens? So are you saying uh, you haven't been able to connect with staff to get a camera to do that or? I just wasn't sure what uh, you guys had mentioned putting a camera in the Randolph area and then I could potentially pick that up and bring it down to South Royalton. I wasn't sure what the process was gonna be. That's Sorry to bring thing. this into the, I'm not sure this is the right place to raise it, but since I'm here, I'm <laughs> raising it uh, but for two reasons. One is the general idea that, that we should be a nexus of broadband information. And then the second is just, we have one particular broadband project that's very high visibility. Um, we should probably be covering it. I would say, it's, yeah, it probably doesn't need to be a board decision. I think it's just a matter of, uh, I think the obstacle sounds like it's just a matter of getting equipment down there that you can access. So as I understand it, you probably are disinclined. You want to have to come up to Montpelier to pick up equipment and then drive back down there, take the meeting, and then drive the equipment back up here, then go back down there as well. Kimball has- I can, actually, I can actually do that if desired. Um, and that, that mileage is covered expense anyways for anybody who's borrowing equipment for something like that. Is that correct? Just put it's in a mileage me. reimbursement? Yeah, well, I mean- CJ, we, we, have a cam we have a camera at Kimball. We haven't set a structure for that. So I would say- The, the equipment exists, but, but there's no sign out? There's no sign out structure yet, but I, I can read in touch base with them and say, wondering where we're at with that. They would wanted to just get used to doing it and creating the right. content. Right, but we have a proficient board member who could but getting that Pilot sense. signing it out. Um, and then- Okay, but the key thing for me then is just the next time there's a board meeting, I can either drive up to Randolph or, or you know, message the, uh, yeah, sorry, drive up to Montpelier or message Kimball somehow, yeah. one or the other. Okay, I may even that's have fine. A camera that I can on permanent loan to you, CJ. Say it again, Rob? I may have a camera that I could even possibly put on permanent loan to you. As you know, and so even sure. you can keep it with you all the time so that you're ready. And then maybe you might want to even, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if we're discussing you as a as an employee, a part-time camera operator or worker, or if you're volunteering your time to uh, cover the meetings as a volunteer. I'm going to say we're yep. off for business and you guys can yep. figure that out. Okay. Other goal of business. The one thing I would bring up is the open house question. And, uh, you know, uh, I've been in some, serious discussions with the ACM Northeast, which I chair the board uh, about their conference. And last Friday, they were so concerned about the Delta variant surge that we postponed the conference and postponed any in-person meetings. That's the Northeast, go ahead. The Alliance for Community in Northeast region. Okay. So uh, there has been some real concern. So, uh, you know, does this impact our decision we made earlier in the summer where we were going to have some sort of open house in September showcase the kids work and try to get people into our new uh, location. Uh, so I'm kind of throwing it up there as the question to you. Am I still working on that September date or should we uh, table it or let's go? table it? I, I agree with that. I think that the Delta thing has changed a lot of yeah. things. For instance, uh, our church was going to reopen in September. Yep. And a couple of people have said, I don't know, why are we open? Why are we reopening? I was getting ready and to go dancing in the street. They, she gave me statistics in one of the places 
where there's less people, fewer people being vaccinated, have been vaccinated, it was in East Montpelier. Callus had a lot of people that have been vaccinated. East Montpelier didn't have very many. And so it's an East Montpelier meeting house. Why in the world are we sending people back in just because it's Labor Day weekend? I, yeah, I also think another variable is looking at the, uh, the end product of, of the, the summer camp because we were talking about showcasing that stuff around. So until the dust is settled there at the very least, and then I think we may COVID have more overlay still. things to be open and show later in the fall or you know early spring. But yeah, then we will now about four weeks. Right now it's planning in about four weeks. It's probably going to start going in the other yeah, direction. Yeah, that's that'd be, and that'd people be nice will to feel see. better about it. I think there are a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety. Schools <laughs> opening right up. No, I, I'm certainly, uh, I would actually advocate it. It gives a little bit more time to spruce up the place. We start, we have started working on some of the things, yeah. and getting it sort of public ready, but uh, it, you know, it gets so busy sometimes. I just don't think we get to, to so, it. I'd like to so that's have a little bit more time. To, to the table. I have just typed, we will table until we can assess further. Sounds good. I'm back, back to study. Second Mike's motion to uh, table. I, uh, old business or we can move into new. Unless there's some really good new business. Sounds like gold's over. I'm, I'm ready to. Uh, Any ready new to business as we look at 8.09 p.m.? I have nothing. Any, any any new business? Well, a lot of, I think, a lot of new business potential was in our overall discussion. Agreed. So Agreed. Not, so we've already kind of covered check. That. We've checked in on a lot of different levels. I, I, you know, I can uh, be a dictator and adjourn or uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll so move. All right. Uh, Mike second that. D moves. And Dave seconds to adjourn. All right, Carlos and CJ, I guess I'm going to end the meeting now. Eight, ten. All those in favor say oh, sorry. Aye. The, mag Aye. the magic moment. All right, there we are at 810. Uh, that's a hey, good complete yeah. meeting. Okay. Yes.